real quick before we start uh, this is the finished cuff that I just made the video for that you're just about to watch um, when I get to the part where I'm doing the cage please ignore my idiot self because uh, I did a three count instead of a five count and so that made it kinda suck to the body here um, I was wrong it's not a learning curve in my case it's a pretzel but anyhow um, do a five count Let's see one two three four five and it'll have a nice, cleaner, round look. Almost, I thought about seeing about doing a Chun Li style bracelet, Whoa. but you can see this. You can see the cage real nicely here, even on the see-through beads. It's nice and you can got holes and looks good. On this one, it looks all kind of sucked in. It doesn't look too bad in person, but. I think I like the five count much better. So just a note, so when we get to that part of the video, ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about, apparently. <laughs> Though it's my design. <laughs> so, but you know, you can always play with it. I do, I don't even know, you can maybe do a larger count. So, but anyhow, but at this part, I'm trying to do a um, five count instead of a three. All right, on to the video. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is going to be my second candy tutorial, I hope. I have tried making it once and failed, but in this tutorial I'll be making what I call my mini slinky uh, candy cuff. It's got a small slinky in here, um, and it's using a, what I'm going to call a triple X base. There's an X here, X here, and an X here. Um, there's tutorial, tutorials on YouTube for this. Uh, they're really good, and it's where I learned to do them. So just search for them, and you'll be able to find them. And I'm using that a slinky that has been glued together right here with some super glue. So it's one piece, which if you want, it could be a bracelet on its own. Do whatever you want with it. But this is what we're using. So I'm going to stop the video and start a new one because I need to try and do this in bits because making one long video did not work. So here we go. Okay, now that we have our X base and our glued slinky that's together. Let us continue. You just slide your slinky right over it. Simple as can be. And our string here should be coming out of the middle beads. Um, I did them purple. I probably should have done them a darker, not darker, lighter color. Um, but hopefully you can see them because it was just the look of the cuff I was going for. And I'm attaching, of course, with my fuzzy balls again. So I have my needle here. Put on my needle. Put on one of my little fuzzy spiky balls here. Make sure it's in the middle. It's pretty centered. And my other uh, glow-in-the-dark white bead here. Okay, so our string is coming out of this purple bead. We just figure out where our string is. And since it's coming out between these two uh, parts of the slinky, we're going to go back in through here, where it's coming out at. We're going to go through the middle of the slinky and over to this purple bead. We're going to attach this with just the purple beads. Now that I have my my needle in there, go through just the purple bead, and pull. Now it's going to kind of tangle up a little, um, don't freak out, just keep pulling and working it, and pull it tight. And what it does is uh, the fuzzy ball and these two beads in the string are now over this part of the slinky and that part of the slinky. 
Um, I'll do one more and then I'm going to stop the video and hopefully do a fast forward video for the rest of it. So once again, glow in the dark. My fuzzy ball. And glow in the dark. Doll's hairs are on there. And this one will come from the top because it doesn't matter. And see, I'm coming through right here. So you can see this. So I'm going right back through, finding that purple bead. And just the purple one. And I'm going to pull it tight. this tight so you can see but see this is good and attached now and you just keep doing that until you're all the way around and uh, I'll start a new video when I get to that point Okay, so now we have our sneaky, totally attached to our base here. It's all nice and good. Um, I had a very long piece of string, so I actually didn't tie mine off. Uh, I came up diagonally right here, because this will be the next place for me to work from. Um, depending on your string and how, you know how long it is and whatnot, you can tie it off down here. It would be, I think, a little bit of a pain tying down here in the middle. Um, but anyhow, so mine, I worked up to here and I tied it nice and tight so it doesn't come undone. It's tied there. And we can move on to the next part, which will be the cage, which is uh, these glow-in-the-dark blue beads here. This will be the next part we'll be doing. So, let's get that started. And I am going to keep with my black... I'm going to add some darkness to this. Um, so I'm adding one black bead. And I'm following the pattern on mine. Uh, but whatever you're doing, you will have different patterns. As you can see, this is all the same type of beads, just different patterns. Um, so on mine, I'm following my pattern, and I'm going to mimic my rainbow. So I'm doing black. I'm going to do a glow-in-the-dark yellow, because I want my outside cage to be glow-in-the-dark again. So I think that had a nice effect and black. And I'm going back through the next connector bead, which happens to be blue. And pulling that. It looks a little weird because I have it on this cup so it's easy to see. And I'm going to go ahead and do another one before I go. Black. The next one I need is going to be orange because I'm mimicking this black, orange, black. And pulling that. And I'm going, me, you, however you want to wear this, we're going to go all the way around and add um, these little groups of three or however you want to do your count all the way around it for the first layer of the cage. And I will see you when this is complete and do the next part. Okay, we have finished doing the first round of the uh, cage here. I know it's hard to see, I'm sorry, it's my color choices. <sighs> if this doesn't work, I'll try for a video number three, I guess. If you guys can't follow this very easily. Anyhow, I got a little bit of string left, um, but I went ahead and tied a knot here so it doesn't move. 
but I wanted to use this to show you. We're going to come up to the middle of this, and it's just like doing the X base, coming up to this connector bean, and we're going to make the next round, which I'm still mimicking my rainbow under here. So I'm doing green, blue, pink for me in glow in the dark beads. I'm coming through the next connector bead here. You can see it's kind of having that rainbow effect. And then, and it's a little funky, like I said, because of the cup, but however you do yours. And I'll do one more before I stop this video here and finish this up for the next one. So yellow, green, blue, into the next connector bead. I'll slide this off real quick. See, I'm getting a, it's hard to see with the other ones right now. I'm getting a rainbow. That's the top part of the cage. So there is that. And I will stop this video, finish this up, and I'll see you back at the next part. Alright, welcome back. I have finished the second row here of the thing. I'm not sure why it ended up so tight. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a new video because I have managed to mess up again. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I went ahead and did one of the last bit of the um, cage that I'm going to do. I did a black, purple, uh, white glow in the dark and then a black star. Um, I'm doing this one like the second one I did where the cage does not connect. I kind of liked the open fill. I don't know if you can see this. Of the slinky. That was the slinky, I think, show a little more. So, here's that. Hopefully, get out of the light. And I'll show you how I do the cage. So, I'm taking a black, a purple, light glow in the darker, and one star bean. See, there they are. Pull. I got a lot of string here. I wanted to finish it with one string. Pull it. And I'm going to guesstimate. I'm going to say this one because I attach mine to the slinky. You can do this however you want. You kind of got the idea by now. I think the main thing you need is how I attached it. And I'm going to attach it to here. Well, maybe. Could do this where you can see me. Okay, I'm holding this here, and this is the part of the slinky I'm going to attach it to. So I'm just taking my needle and going around just that one here, and I'm going to pull that. I'm going to yell at my son here in a second because he's messing with the blinds. <sighs> so pull that. Back up where I want it. This is now going around there. Coming back to my star bean. I'm going back through the star bean. Okay, and then I just Pull that kind of tight. Now, I'm going to finish it up by doing my glow in the dark, my purple, my black, and I'm coming up here to this connector bean. I said it's tight for some reason, I don't know why. And pulling that through. It's just a matter of working it so it stays tight. See? 
And I'm going to do that all the way around. And I will see you after I've gone all the way around this top. Alright, welcome back. I have finished up the top part of the cage. Um, I'm not really happy with how this one come out, truth be told. Uh, we'll see how it goes when it's all finished. I'll see if it grows on me. Um, anyhow, it's all finished and I tied it. When I was done, let's, I'm just going to use an example here. I just tied, uh, worked my thread through diagonally and uh, tied it up here. Um, however, I didn't cut mine off. I then went through diagonally through the base cuff, the very first piece, and I went diagonally all the way to yeah. here. So this thread actually went doo -doo -doo -doo, like it's from over here. Because I hate tying, well, cutting and adding. So it's knotted here, and I just yeah. thread through down here. And all we're going to do is flip this over. And we're just going to do the same thing, the last three uh, steps we did down here, just this way. And once we're done with all three of those, it will be done. So I will see you when it's completely finished. Sound good? Alright. Okay, here is the finished cuff that we just did. Um, I figured out what my problem was, so I might show this a, a little clip of this at the beginning or do a little clip for the beginning real quick um, I did a three count it was three and then three for these two layers it should have been a five so it you know comes out see these were a five count one two three four five uh, one two three four five that was the same on this one the five and that gave it a let it come out or this one kind of it was a three and it kind of sucked it to it so it doesn't quite have the same shape but it didn't turn out too bad so I just the glow in the dark here is not going to show as well but anyhow but this is the finished cuff so I'm hoping yours is uh, turned out pretty good um, I would absolutely love it if you have a deviant art profile that you can post it and you know find me and link to me and let me know because I would love to see uh, where everyone goes with it and you know their creativity or your creativity and you know, mixing it up. So and that is the mini slinky cuff. Hope you enjoyed and hope it helps. All right, bye.